Hi guys and welcome back to the 30th episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. That we have reached 30 episodes is incredible and I love your support on it. It's such a brilliant game and what we do now I don't really know. We're gonna get into arena. So yeah here we are. We just climbed down that's why Alo is breathing so heavily. So yeah let's examine this. been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. I would like no these. distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? Uh, sure. You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Okay, so I really want a bl blaze. So I guess we can... Yeah, yeah, let's just travel up here. I really want to create those blast bombs, so we gotta buy... Gotta buy blazes. I should kill more. What is it called? Not broadheads. It's uh, the other one. Here's my broadhead. Wow. Um. The food is, is from happening? Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard, and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers. I guess we were talking to her instead. Besides <laughs> machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some <laughs> even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> oh, really? I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done <laughs> some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Just the quality of this game is key. It's still awesome. Um... I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful ha. things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Not sure Thank you. I like the idea of hiring mercenaries. I'm gonna focus on that uh, after this quest. So here's the guy. Okay, resources and blazes, yes. Oh god, we don't have much money now. Jeez. Oh, I need a sparker too. Sparker and blade. Blaze, I mean. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm getting freaking... That's not a sparker? What is that? Am I stupid? That's a metal whistle. Ah, I hate myself. So I have a lot of echo shells. I don't know why I bought them. Yeah, we get pretty much of it. So. Sell about this much. Yeah. Now we have a food to buy the whistle. So a lot of these and blaze. Okay, that's, that will be enough. Okay, now we're totally broke. But we are ready. <laughs> he was like, why did you get down on your knees, gal? What the fuck? Just give me some magic shots, you don't have to do anything else. Um, okay, I guess we just run back. It'll probably cut into land there. So yeah, we just know about the wall. Let's just enter this place. Uh, I think we're ready. I have all the shit I would like to have. So. Hope it's nothing like any, any mechanic robot 
I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. It's too strong. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. I'm actually super curious about this. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. <laughs> hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency Hello, venting doesn't authorized. Even give a shit. I underestimated you. I think by now I... Look at that outfit. I guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. <laughs> we? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. <laughs> now will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Where is Eden? Is he even alive? Is there a robot? Is there a conscious? Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics. He's such a bitch though. Failures. Attempting repair. So what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. It's a notebook. I don't know if we're gonna read that. Uh, yeah, you can pause if you wanna read this. We have a lot of notes. Maybe when I finish the main story, you guys can... I can do one of those episodes that you will just listen through everything and uh, all that. Because I know every, not every one of you has uh, a console. So you could be able to... Uh, play this game yourself so if you like to when i'm done with the main quest to do an episode where we only read and listen to notebooks that would be cool please take a seat and wait for your name to be called a selection okay, of not. beverages and snacks are available a smaller room Another one. So metal vessel is very important to collect if we would want uh, blast bombs. I gotta remember that and uh, if I don't, please remind me in the comments down below. If you would like to, you don't have to. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Sure. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Oh, they took off my hat. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. 
By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. <laughs> oh god, the music, it's awesome. Seriously, what? I, that doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Totally. Castro. Oh. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing oh, stop Jesus, you from learning no. the truth. Spread out! Oh no. Okay, so we will deal with the soldiers in the next episode. So yeah, this was all for this episode. I'm a bit blown away at the moment, so yeah. But if you like this episode, go ahead and leave a like. And if you like my content, go ahead and subscribe to Unlook Her Bows. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.